She ride my dick to a slaw. Yeah. Drain her in the seat till she thaw. Yeah. yeah. She bout to go up. Yeah. Hey, she really tall. Damn. Yeah. I got my door. Yeah. yeah. Say hi to And every time you see me, nigga, I be with the game, probably 10 deep. Hey. My nigga stay with me, money stay with me, bitches stay with me, foreign things stay with me. Flexing on niggas, man, these niggas centipede. Man. I be with the gang, probably 10 deep. Yeah. I be blowing on strong nigga out that backwood. Wow. Hit your hoe from the back, she said it. I was getting to this boy Cat back with another video. Finna give y'all this quick story time about how I gave somebody something that meant so much to them when it really didn't mean nothing to me, which is a pair of shoes. So basically back in eighth grade, I went to a like a mainly white school and it was only a couple black people on my team. And me being who I was, I wasn't really, I don't know, I guess you can say, you can separate me from the white kids at school and the black kids at school. You know what I'm saying? It's always gonna be that, like that difference because it wasn't no balance at all. This school was predominantly white. Like it wasn't that wrong with it, but I'm just saying like, you obviously gonna face some type of it's gonna, be, it's gonna feel different, it's gonna be different, it's not gonna be like a like the average school that's kinda like more diverse, so it was already, you know what I'm saying, weird. But then it was this one kid that went to my school, they went to that school, and he was on my team, cause back in that, like that time, like eighth grade, we had teams and shit. So he was on my team, he was pretty cool, he was pretty quiet though, but you know what I'm saying, everybody knew him or whatever, because I mean, everybody on my team who was black, you knew who they was, cause there weren't that many of us. But, he used to come to school with like ripped jeans and dirty shirts and shit, or like wearing the same shirt all the time. Like he would wear the same clothes every day. Like not trying to be funny or nothing like that. Cause I never was the kind of kid to pick on people or pick on the kid who ain't really had shit. Like that just never was like who I am. Well, that never, that, that's not who I am. Like I never been that type of kid to like pick on the dude who don't got nothing or who dress funny or nothing like that. I, I hung around people like that because you know what I'm saying? That's just like the, the crowd, like I hung around. But I never was the type to feed into that, so that was always good. That was always different about me. I wasn't really into all that, that like picking on people and shit. But one day everybody was picking on him, like it was just crazy. Like I never seen somebody get picked on so much who did not deserve it. He didn't do nothing to nobody, didn't bother nobody, didn't talk to nobody, nothing. He was cool. he was so cool and laid back, bro, and just quiet, bro. And he, they just bothered him every day, like all the time about his shoes and shit. And it just, that bothered me more, like, I used to have to, like, step in and just, like, look at everybody crazy, like, because it was just, like, fucked up, like, why you pick, why you messing with somebody who had, who didn't do nothing to you, who was not bothering you, none of that, like, just, he was so, like, chill, but, like, it's just crazy thinking about it now, because even though it was, like, years ago, it's like, damn, he really got picked on just for being quiet and just being laid back, and I, I never really liked people who did that. And we, even when my homeboys did it, they're just like looking at me crazy because it like I'd be kind of off to the side, like just why y'all? You know what I'm saying why? Like what's the point of that? But I asked him what what size shoe he wore one day, and he told me he was like nine nine and a half. And fortunately, that's the size I wear. And I had some Jordan ones that I never really wore like that. I never wore them. I always kept them in the box because I really didn't like them. And I gave them to him one day, like the next day I had brought him to school. So I, I didn't want to give them to him in front of everybody because it would seem like I was, you know what I'm saying, being funny or whatever. So the next day I bought them to him and he, I never seen somebody so happy, so excited over some shoes before. Like I swear to God, like the fact that I could make somebody day like that and make somebody that happy just by giving them some shoes I did not like and didn't want. Just being able to do something for somebody else and making their day like that and putting a smile on somebody else's face when they've been getting picked on and bullied, that shit made me feel like, that shit made my day too, like that shit made me feel a lot better. But I hope you enjoyed this video, man. Drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you new. We gonna keep dropping these story times and shit, but this boy Cap, and I'm out. And every time you see me, nigga, I be with the game, probably 10 deep. Hey, my nigga stay with me, money stay with me, bitches stay with me, foreign things stay with me.